see you guys on the bike. Okay, we stopped to get a photo, but it's just, the photos and the video just aren't gonna do this justice and it sucks because you're just getting glimpses of how beautiful it is here. Definitely don't recommend coming here in the winter time. Come here in the summer. It will be like a completely different experience. Back on the road. Okay, there is a big ass mud hole. We've seen people go through it. We have no choice but to go through it, so. Oh God, okay, hold on. This thing is deep. We just look. Yeah, I gotta get my hands on Should it. Should I get off? No, I think it'll be all right. Oh my God. We made it to Dong Van and it was, whoa. We went the long way. We made a wrong turn somewhere, and so the loop goes like this, right? Like a circle? And then we checked Amanda's phone, and we were somehow in the middle of the circle. Oh, God, the roads are... <sighs> okay, so we have to, like, dry up. Before we tell you guys everything, let's... We have to change. We finally got a place. Everything in this town is booked because there's a festival. Again with the... Yeah, so this is all our stuff drying out. So we have this room. Luckily this is better because it's enclosed. I don't think there's any breezes for the most part. I feel like there's some heat, some warmth, I'm so I hope. I'm wet everywhere. My neck is wet. I don't know if that's it. We stopped and picked up some poncho pants and they did a great job of keeping my knees dry. <laughs> but the problem is they're like midget size, so they only kept my legs dry up to here and then my shoes are full of water so my socks are soaked. These are the only pants I brought, the only shoes I have, and then I tore my poncho pants. Oh, oh yeah! Oh my god, you see angle <laughs> towards me? Oh, it looks like I fit. What the hell? It looks like I fit pants. <laughs> Oh, God, it's so good. <laughs> oh, okay. Have, I have pants on. Wow. They're not the pants that people want to see. They're spandex. We finally found a place to sleep tonight. I swear, we must have like checked with 20 hotels and homestays and everyone was booked out or they were charging 800 This place is 300 We took a nap. Mm-hmm. More like... A way to warm up. <laughs> Come over here. Do you want to get in our warmth sandwich <laughs> with us? It's easier to get warm when your head's under the blankets. And then you just fall asleep. <sighs> okay, we still haven't eaten all day. Just like yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Today was worse though. It was so much colder. Today had the potential to be the most scenic and the most beautiful ride I think that we've been on in our travels. Mm -hmm. Like I really think it would have been. Yeah, I know there were times like, oh, it's so beautiful, but don't stop because it's so cold. <laughs> what it turned out to be is the most miserable day of our travels, I think. Yeah. <laughs> 
Has that been out of focus the whole time I've probably? Anyways, yeah, so it ended up being oh, the most miserable day of our travels. So cold. Nothing yeah. worse than being cold and wet. Yeah. I was just thinking back to Mei Hong Song when it was raining and you were like, at least it's warm rain. I know. <laughs> Today it was the opposite. It was freezing. And we were at the like the point of no return too. Like you're out there in the middle of the mountains, surrounded by all these beautiful mountains, but you there was nowhere else to go. It's just the only place we could just go was here, just keep driving. Oh, some of the roads were sketchy as hell with like landslides and the roads were washed out. There weren't even roads anymore. It was just like big like dirt with huge rocks and stuff and I'm sorry, I would have recorded more, but my hands were freezing holding the GoPro. And then the GoPro died. <laughs> well it was supposed to be like a short little trip turned into a long one. <laughs> so how long should it have been? It was only fifty kilometers. Yeah. So it shouldn't have, it should have been maybe two hours. It took us four hours, probably yeah. twice as long. Going the long way. So now we are in Dong, Dong Van, and there's a festival that starts tonight at 8 p.m., the opening ceremonies. That's why m most of the hotels and homestays were sold out. I think both of our boots are still wet. So. And now look at my clothes, they're all hanging. My pants, they're drying, but you can still see they're wet down here. The ass part is dried. Those were wet. Super silk socks, Amanda's scarf, her rain jacket, her under jacket, her socks. I'm over this trip. No, the battery's gonna die in the camera. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go get some food. I'm gonna walk around town in shorts and flip flops. It's 40 degrees out there. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Okay, here's Amanda, all ready to go out. <laughs> Layers. And scarves. I'm taking my socks off. She has like, on. this is what I'm gonna be wearing. <laughs> and because all my shirts are wet, I have two t shirts. That's it. And then it's just. I think I have an extra t shirt you can wear. I don't want another t shirt. I want something with sleeves. Sleeves. How can we, I want some candy. Are you get them. It's right here. Well, we're both gonna be so cold. Some food? Yes. That's all right. How much is it? We really wanted to get that hot pot, but it's 300000 Which is what we're paying to sleep. <laughs> so it's a little expensive. It's probably delicious. And that place was packed. Did you notice how everyone is wearing pants, rain jacket, shoes, and us? <laughs> I forgot to tell you earlier that when we were on our hunt for a place to sleep, when I found this lady, it was actually down the road at another homestay, and they were straight up executing the chicken right in front of me. And I was like trying not to stare. Walked over here to see if they had a room, and while I was talking to the lady, they were executing these two chickens. Oh, sorry guys. But they cut its throat and it was just so, so funny because they were so natural, like talking to me, shaking out oh, the blood the, from the chicken. Oh, the so lights. Pretty. That's the stage. There's supposed to be music going on over there. Very unique experience. Not used to seeing chickens murdered. It's dinner. Now I don't really want to eat chicken. <laughs> it felt bad. Let's see. Coffee time, even though it's 8 p.m. Any food that we should eat? So this isn't your typical Starbucks Vente Grande, whatever it's. It looks more like an espresso shop, but they drink all the coffee with here. It's this condensed milk stuff, which is super sweet. I I like it. Yeah. I think I just put as much condensed milk in there as there was coffee. <laughs> So they were telling us about this black chicken. I wonder why it's black. You want steamed beef? Ended up we are getting a hot pot. So the nice guy from the coffee shop, he probably owns this place. Oh, there it is. So he um, negotiated a price for us. It's gonna be 200,000. Cheaper than the other place. 
So the way these hot pot places work is they bring you food, you cook it yourself. It's gonna be beef and some vegetables and noodles, but it's it's basically an all you can eat buffet. As Mark was showing the black chickens over there, someone had mentioned it earlier and you've never seen or heard of a black chicken, and he said that they believe that it is that it helps women, like during uh, fertility, it helps them be strong. And the chicken are born like that. That's crazy. Yeah, they're actually the actual black chickens. You guys have black chickens before? I'm so happy to have this fire right now. Here is the beef, tofu, the veggies that we're telling you about, and then we just drop them here in the soup. Ooh, ginger, you're right. Out of the face. We just made it. Dang, we literally just made it here for like the finale. Like that was awesome. I didn't expect to have a fireworks show. But yeah, everybody is leaving now. All right guys, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and leave your comments below. And subscribe if you're not already a beautiful PC. But you should be, join us. It's so fun to hang out with us and freeze, isn't it? <laughs> okay. See you guys later. Okay, success. Found some cheap shoes. Bang. Does this place look familiar, guys? Of course it doesn't, because it was so damn foggy when we were here, and you probably couldn't even see it. And now you can see this beautiful valley.